What's going on, everybody? We're Mindy and Joe. Together, we're traveling the country in our van with our dog, Volt. In this episode, we get some sweet new kicks for the van and tell you why we chose them. And then later, we talk about our water system, how we use it, and why we use it. If you'd like to join us on our journey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Made it to the discount tire. We finally chose. I'm gonna go with some all terrains because why not? But we're going with the Good Rain Trail Runner ATs Load Range E for those interested. Reason Load Range E because it can handle the weight of everything that we have in the vehicle. And we went to discount tire because that's where we've gotten like all our tires and surprisingly good price. Um, about 700 bucks for four brand new tires. I'm excited for new tires. Get new kicks. New kicks, <laughs> finally, since we, uh, we picked up that flat the other day. We, uh, Pretty mold. excited for new tires. Mo grip. It's, it's expensive, gotta, but it's worth it. It's got to be a van life thing to be excited for new tires. True. <laughs> All right, we'll see you when it's done. The main reason we went with the Goodyear Trail Runners is because they were the same price as the normal street tires that we were going to purchase, so we opted for the all-terrain upgrade. They have about a 50,000 mile lifespan, so that's going to be perfect for us while we're in the van. And the extra peace of mind that comes with having more grip and a little more tread on the tires is really helpful when you're off-road. Good morning. We are at a Cabela's again. Surprise, surprise. But what I figured so I go ahead and show you how we fill up water. For our water in the van, we have two cans. We have a green six gallon Reliance jug, which fits underneath the sink with the green gray water jug that we use. And we label them. We label them potable water and gray water because we don't ever want to get those confused. And then another thing we have is the blue seven gallon Reliance jug. Now, this is a temporary system. The green jugs both fit underneath the sink and then this blue jug actually fits in between the seats. Got the first jug filled, now we're filling up the second jug. We fill up as much as possible when we can because we don't know if we get distracted it might go somewhere for a few days out in the middle of nowhere. Um, eventually we will put plumb in a system, but for now it works really well. And I think our total water system cost between the jugs and the hand pump is only like 50 bucks. So you can do it very cheap and easy. But one of the things that you definitely don't want to skimp on is the water filter. The reason you want to use a water filter is because you don't want to ingest any bacteria and pesticides and things like that. Now, in the United States, most water is going to be safe to drink. But even when it says potable, I go ahead and filter it anyway, just as an extra safety precaution. And then one of the things I also do to prevent bacteria growth and things like that is I never put any water into these two jugs that hasn't been filtered. Okay, so we don't go scoop it out of a stream and then throw in the chlorine tablets, which will help disinfect your water or anything like that. Um, if we want water while we're out in the wild, we will actually use a, either a hand pump or use the Gravity Feet bag, which are just cool filters you use for camping. And what those do is you can fill those up and get those dirty and then the filtered water will go in and be clean. But this way, we stay as safe as possible with our jugs of water. So the reason we went with two jugs is we have to drink water for three. So Mindy and I both, we drink quite a bit of water, but we're not, never going over a gallon a day. Whereas Volt, on the other hand, sometimes we'll fill his bowl up like six or seven times in one day, which is substantially more water than we are drinking. 
So keep that in mind if you have pets. They're gonna drink a lot of water, so don't rely on just maybe a six gallon jug, but having that extra backup's really nice. But we can also use our water for a shower. So we actually have a hand pump and thing, so we'll show you that in another episode, but that's another reason we have two gallons. That's it for our water, guys. I figured I'd show you that in the morning while we're parked at Cabela's, because we love Cabela's and they always have a free pump. We've only had two stores that actually didn't have the pumps working, which they were also out west and I'm assuming that has something to do with droughts and water management. That would be my guess because anywhere in the east and on our way out there we didn't really have an issue but we also don't have droughts out here. If you know the answer to that for real I'd love to hear it in the comments below. And for those of you wondering the brand we're using is Camco. The reason we went with Camco is because it seems to be the one that all the RV stores and outdoor stores stock so we figured why not but I figure if it's good for RVs then it's going to be fine for us. And for those of you joining us on our journey that are already out on the road as well, go ahead and let us know what systems you use because we are looking to upgrade in the future, so we'd love to hear about it. And for those of you planning a potential build, go ahead and put a comment below because we'd love to hear your thoughts too. I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff back together. I think we're going to run into Cabela's real quick as they happen to carry my favorite coffee. And we like to patron since we do stay here a lot. And then we're going to hit the road. Cabela's is an outdoor recreation store carrying gear for all things outdoors, including camping, hunting and fishing, boating, and more. Started in 1961, they now have locations throughout the United States and Canada. In 2017, Cabela's joined forces with Bass Pro Shops, and together they welcome more than 200 million annual visitors. The stores are an experience in themselves, and most offer overnight parking for trucks and RVs in the back. Their vision is to inspire everyone to enjoy, love, and conserve the great outdoors. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. But don't forget the little bell notification so you can know when our latest videos are coming out. We'll catch you all in the next one.